Welcome back to, oh my goodness, okay, welcome back to another episode of Two Pro Car Guys, and today we are doing a bunch of stuff. We have uh, Mark working on something on his car, which he will tell you about in a second. Um, we have Jose de detailing my girlfriend's car, and we have my girlfriend here too, so we're going to probably do stuff to that. And I'm probably going to do the bumper cut to my car, finally. Yeah, Mark, what are we doing to your car? So, we're going to do the Focus. We're actually going to do a brake conversion for the rear brakes. We're going to take off the old drums, and we're going to put the SVT brakes on the rear. So, that's going to be fun. Uh, just changing it up a little bit. It takes a lot of parts. So, if you're going to do this conversion, you definitely want to make sure you take all the parts off of uh, the SVT. Uh, but, one cool thing is going to be when we do the actual uh, e-brake cable. And we'll show you that in the video. Oh, you're done? Sorry, I was yeah. falling asleep. There's yeah, no right. enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Alright, Mark, so what are we doing right here? So, right now, we're draining out the old fluid. Hey, hey. From the brake. Don't it stop my plastic. What? You get that on the concrete, my mom's gonna kill you. Well, that's why <laughs> that's going on the video, too. <laughs> that's right. Well, the plastic's behind you. True. Okay, well, when we get to so, a part where it's more But messy. now, what I'm doing is I gotta pull these clamps out because, you know, Ford, they love their clamps. So we gotta get this clamp off so I can take the old line out because the line that's on here is not gonna work. We have to use the actual SVT uh, brake line. So unfortunately though, just getting these off is a kind of pain in the butt. All right guys, so as he was saying, we are going from this right here, these drums, to disc brakes. We do have everything. We have the hub, all that stuff we bought off of a car in the junkyard. Um, bought everything, then got some new lines from AutoZone. So from this to this from this to this then you got Jose over here really screwing up my girlfriend's paint mm -hmm. I mean what's going on here <laughs> matte black oh, shit. this looks this just looks cool actually black it kinda does <laughs> oh what is that that's my girlfriend and oh, then we God. got my Miata in the reflection too Two of my favorite things. And uh, yeah, so yeah. we are about to make this move. look like this, the rest of the car. Oh, he said move. My goodness, that reflection though. Hey Jose. What up? The camera's on your face. Oh, hola. Say it again. Hola. <laughs> so Mark is over here still working on getting just the lines off. Mm -hmm. Properly. And properly. It's supposed to do something like that. Don't know exactly. I'll figure it out. Yeah, something. Something or other like that. All right. So after a short intermission of a 7-Eleven run to get Slurpees and shit, we are back. And Mark has the hub on. What are you working on now? Make shifting a cable. Uh, the hops from the hardware store basically mimic the line. The only thing is, is I gotta bend this little piece in so they don't come back out. Pliers and vice grips. We'll be chilling. Exactly. Well, we're halfway there with one side.
Do you need to hit it on something? Why not just use vice grips or something? Um, I don't think the vice grips are strong enough to clamp it. That's the problem I've been having. Kind of, it's kind of really tight. Yeah, I can get it to clamp a little though. What's up guys? Welcome back. <laughs> Leave it in. Welcome Brack. Alright guys, this is the outro to the break video. <laughs> so, I've actually tried filming this about 10 times now and I cannot get it. So, <laughs> I'm going to show you the brakes right around right about now. All right, guys, so this is the SVT rear brake kit setup. So that way, the, instead of being on drums, which are crappy when it comes to racing, uh, this is definitely a lot better. Um, as well as, too, if anyone tries to tell you that drums are okay in the rear, they're full of it. I heard that from a performance company, and yeah, those guys are retarded because these brakes weigh a lot less than the drums. But the one thing that I will have to say is when you do get this uh, basically pull it off of an SVT and you want to put it on a basic ZX3 what you are going to need to do is make sure you get the hub so you need the hub on there as well as the disc and the calipers um, the other thing is is with the stock brake setup for the emergency brake the SVTs come with a different cable and it's right over here you can see that so the SVTs do come with a different cable and there's actually a mounting point right here for the cable but you can make it work if you go to your hardware store and you get steel braided line so if you get steel braided line you can actually connect from this little bridge piece back here and you'll see it when you take it off actually the two cables literally just slide in and, and connect on the existing ones and you just loop it through and then make sure the distance is correct so you get good good uh, tension and it works like a champ the only thing i will make sure that you uh, need to do is i will suggest this to everybody is that when you mount this up you got to mount it behind so right now I have a zip tie, uh, it doesn't work too well on this side, so what you want to do is get some um, locking ties, which you would use on uh, an exhaust manifold for headers, if you want to wrap your headers, those locking ties are great, and what you can do is you can loop it through these, this hole here and around the bridge part of this cable and crimp it together so it won't move and then just throw an extra zip tie just to keep it in place so there's extra uh, strength right there and then it'll work perfectly fine you don't have to buy the entire uh, SVT rear emergency brake cable if you want to go for it so the other thing was is if you do not have the cable for the brake lines itself they do sell these uh, typically at AutoZone I was able to find it this is a 17 inch cable so or line I should say so you need to make sure that you get the 17 inch the fronts will not work doesn't matter what anyone says they will never work um, so you can get these at AutoZone uh, they might have them online but AutoZone was the closest place the car was already taken apart we had to go there so but these do work uh, it actually makes it a little bit of shorter line uh, going straight across but the brakes do work perfectly fine uh, when adjusting these they do need the little key the little square tool to adjust the caliper um, so you do need to get that tool do not press them in you will damage your seals make sure you get that tool and turn the piston in do not just push them in all right guys but they work great the braking is amazing uh, next thing I'll probably do is get the fronts uh, if I could find a set for a good price uh, I'll get the front ones but other than that just putting rear SVTs it makes a huge difference guys um, so what happened was um, the reason why we didn't really film everything else um, kind of actually annoyed me because it annoyed all of us because not only did Mark get pissed off because he got sold the wrong brake lines Seriously. Um, so we weren't actually able to hook it up right away and then he had to go around I swallowed a bug 
we had to go around and um, find a brake line that would work. Um, we actually ended up finding the correct brake line all the way out in Gardenia, which is about an hour away from me. Yeah. So an hour there, an hour back. It was too late to film anything else, and plus we had to be quiet. We had to. It was it was all kinds of bad. It was so, a nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> it was a, it was a nightmare. So um, we actually ended up finishing it though that night. Um, sorry I didn't film the rest of it, but hopefully you guys can forgive me on that one. Um, but yeah, so on that note, I'm gonna say right now, this is the end of this video. And uh, if you like this video, or if you like our other videos, subscribe. If you like this video specifically, like this video. Or if you dislike this video, dislike this video. I want to know. And if you really want to, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of our future videos. And uh, yeah, guys, stay on that gas pedal. Peace. All right, then we'll take a we'll take a shot.